And the third thing to do when facing a challenge, let the Holy Spirit comfort you. In the Lord's Supper in 1 Corinthians 11, the Apostle Paul says of this event, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Paul says in 1 Thessalonians, he begins the talk about what we like to call the end times or the rapture. He says, do this to comfort one another with these simple truths. You see, we miss the use of the Holy Spirit and we turn the Holy Spirit into a feeling. We turn the Holy Spirit into some sort of get rich quick scheme or that the Holy Spirit has been called to, to make us rich and to never have difficult times. That is not it at all. You see, Jesus states that the purpose of the Holy Spirit is simply comfort. John 14, 16 says, and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may be able with you forever. In that moment of temptation, in that moment of trials, when everything is leaning so heavy on you and you feel like giving up, you have a comforter. If you know Christ is your personal Savior, you have the Holy Spirit. It is never a question whether or not you have the Holy Spirit. The question always seems to be, does the Holy Spirit have all of you? It's time to yield to when the Holy Spirit talks. It's time to repent where the Holy Spirit repents, not according to a church denomination or a spiritual leader or what some person tells you. Listen to the Word of God. Be tenderhearted to the Holy Spirit and get up every day with the concept that I am going to follow Jesus no matter what path He takes me down. I will choose the challenge over comfort. You see, even ministers it's very easy to choose the easy over the difficult time. The story goes of a minister received a call from a church that offered him a salary four times greater than the small little church he was receiving was offering him. But being a devout man, he, he spent much time in prayer trying to discern what was God's will for him and what he should do, what path he should go down. One day a friend met the minister's young son on the street and he asked him, do you know what your dad is going to do, he asked. Well, replied the youngster, Dad is praying, but mom is packing. You see, God didn't call you to do the easy thing. He called you to follow him by faith during difficult times. You see, anyone can do the easy thing. We build statues and monuments and we hold up great men and women who chose to do the difficult hard thing and we hold them up as heroes. May I say that God is calling you today to do something difficult. And so you have a choice. You could choose the easy path or you could choose the hard path. But the Holy Spirit will bring comfort to you no matter what you have to go through. Follow Jesus today.